signing the contract for my company next year. Okay, really quick, I wanted to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I will tell you guys all about them in a minute. Okay, let's start the video. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so we're doing a little vlog this week. I guess it's like a few days in the life of a professional ballet dancer. I kind of wanted to do a week, but I figured, you know what, three days is just going to be just as effective as a whole week. But I decided to do this because my schedule is starting to pick up more, which makes me really happy. And I just kind of want to show you guys I just kind of want to show you guys what my days have been looking like recently. You know, I'm in the new apartment, I'm starting to have rehearsals, all that fun stuff. So, today is Monday, May 3rd. It is a new week, kind of the beginning of a month, and I'm feeling really motivated, really excited to like get on top of my shit again. I feel that during this pandemic, it can be kind of hard to find this motivation out of nowhere and just be super on top of everything. So my goal for this week is to be a lot more productive, a lot more on top of my shit, you know what I mean? So let's go through the schedule today. Let's see what I'm doing. I have class on stage in the theater it's at 10.30 and then my first rehearsal is at one. So I don't know if I'm actually allowed to say what I'm rehearsing. So I'm gonna refrain from doing that because you know, I have to respect my boundaries at work, of course. But what I will say is that it's a contemporary neoclassical piece from one of the biggest choreographers in the world. And I've wanted to dance his choreography for like ever since I started doing ballet. And it's so surreal that this is like my first year in the company and I was actually casted in this piece. Even though I'm third cast, it literally doesn't matter to me because like I'm in the room with like other amazing dancers learning this choreography that I really like. Then at three something, I have a meeting with my director, which is really cool because towards the end of the season, he talks with every individual dancer, so I have that. And then at 4.30, I have another rehearsal, and that goes until 6.30, and then I'm done. I just kind of wanted to like lay out the schedule for you guys to kind of get an overview, but you guys will see more throughout the day. I always forget that maybe new people are watching. If you're wondering, I'm a professional dancer with the Stuttgart Ballet here in Stuttgart, Germany. And yeah, I'm honestly running a bit late, so we should get started with the day. Let's go. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. <laughs> How are you feeling for work yeah, today? It's kind of hard. New week. Are you ready? Are you motivated? Uh, no? I tried my best. Okay. Okay, okay. You guys. We're headed to the stage for class, but no mirror to, to check my fat knees and my biscuits. Yeah. Okay guys, we just finished class. I look all sweaty and gross. But sweaty. now we're gonna go be ballerinas and go rehearse. Well, you maybe. <laughs> Almost 30 next week. Too late for tears, damage is done. You messed with the wrong witch. Oh. Oh. Okay guys, I just finished my first rehearsal. It ended up only being like 30 minutes. Really chill. It was just, we ran like a little duet moment with two boys. So now it's lunch um, and then I have a meeting, but I'm gonna go to Attica to get lunch because I didn't pack anything because I made curry last night, but I didn't want to like bring curry here. Like I'll save that for dinner. 
So I'm just sitting in a park right now. I decided to have my lunch out here. It's not that warm. For some reason, spring doesn't, like, hasn't been sticking this year. Well, I'm having this wrap I got from Etika, and then I also bought, like, this big thing of pasta. I definitely bought way too much, but I guess having too much is better than not having enough. Now I have my meeting in an hour. I'm gonna listen to some crime junkies. Get in it. You always want to be on my Instagram stories, now you don't even want to get in the video. Um, so we just finished our last rehearsal, and we did a bunch of different stuff, like... What did we do? We did three different parts in this last rehearsal. I think right now he's just trying to get like all the material out and then we'll, we're gonna figure out everything else. But it's a lot of learning. I don't know, my feet right now are kind of, you know, at the end of the day when your feet are just cramping. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do a little stretch time. Eduardo needs help with his splits and I feel like I'm losing You're flexibility. Such a <laughs> You're a <laughs> I hate you. Okay, so we're gonna stretch <laughs> after a long day of battle. Don't like, laugh. I never do this, but I, I feel like I need it. Please, guys, don't judge me. You do like a jeté and it's at 180, but then somehow you struggle to do a split. I don't understand it. Because it's like one second, you know, in the air. <laughs> and when I have to stay like on the floor, it's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually feels like painful, but kind of good. <laughs> no, I just, they see this I just did. You're literally like this. Oh. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, and it hurts so much more after a long day. Okay, let's touch. Oh, this one's bad for me. I have no flexibility in my back. You wanna see me do it? No. Oh my god, I might fart. <laughs> oh. Enough stretching for today, I'll see you later. So as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is by far the best and easiest place to build your own website, whether it's for you personally or for your business. So I tried Squarespace out and made it my own personal website just for me as Tristan Simpson. And I'm not gonna lie, building a website was always something that seemed really intimidating and scary. But y'all, I actually had so much fun building my website. It's so customizable, you can be creative, with it. There's so many different templates to choose from that fits whatever you need best. So if you've ever considered building your own website for either you or your business, you need to do it now and do it on Squarespace. So of course I have a discount for you guys. So what you're going to do is head to squarespace.com. You're going to build your website with a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch your website, you got to go to squarespace.com slash Tristan Simpson to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. So I hope you get creative and have fun building your website and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and now back to the video. I'm finally home after a long day and it's so nice that it's like spring summertime because the sun is still out when I get home you know usually if I were getting home at this time during the winter it'd be like dark which is never fun. So right now I'm gonna take a shower and do my skincare routine but then I have YouTube stuff to do. Um, I'm just gonna try to get as much done as possible tonight but tomorrow is really not busy, so I can use a lot of my time tomorrow to do that sort of stuff, but I'm, I want to try to get some of it done today. So, I just went to the bakery because I didn't really have anything to eat for breakfast. And, you know, I was planning on getting something that wasn't unhealthy. Like, I was planning on getting something that was maybe like, decently 
nutritious, but I didn't. I got like an apple schnicker or something. Something like that. But I'm sorry, does that not look so good? But like right before class, really Tristan. It's okay, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Breakfast of a champion, am I right? Today is a much easier day than yesterday. There was a lot of dancing yesterday. Today, all I have is class, but that means I'm gonna go to the gym. I've been working on like a summer body transformation, not gonna lie. I I've always done weights, but I have never done it this intensely and this consistently. So I'm seeing like huge improvements and I'm really happy. A lot of today is going to be dedicated towards getting YouTube stuff done so I don't have to worry about it so much when I get busier again later this week. And um, I'm running late so I really need to like put some pep in my step. I just finished class, it was really good, but I was doing some petite allegro, and for those of you who are a ballet dancer, comment down below if you're not a ballet dancer. Okay, but anyways, I was doing this thing called petite allegro. It's basically a bunch of small, fast jumps combined together, and I got a little bit of shin pain. It feels fine to walk on, it just got like really tight, but so I should probably go see physio, maybe tomorrow or today. So yeah, now I'm on my way to the gym. I've always been a little insecure about being skinny, especially in my upper body, like when it comes to outside of ballet. Always a little insecure taking my shirt off and that sort of stuff, especially during the summer at the beach, you know? And it's good now that I'm a company member to kind of build some muscle. I've been working out with Alex. He's helped me so much. Are we filming us today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay guys, so I finished and I went to the grocery store again. Like, I'm always there. Y'all, I swear to God, I go to the grocery store like every day. Hashtag European life. And it's horrible because you go in there and I'm like, okay, I need to get two things. And then you walk out with 10. And that's like an everyday thing. It's a problem. But anyways, I'm just having my lunch right now. I have my protein smoothie. I'm also having just like a really plain salad, rucola with I always forget the name in English. Gherkin is in German. Cucumber. That's what it is. Can't believe I remember it in German, not in English. I also put a little bit of onion, but then here's the thing I want to tell you guys about. So, a few weeks ago, I did the athlete tries going vegan for a week, and I couldn't find any cheeses that I loved. Like, they, it was fine. I found one of the best vegan cheeses I've ever had in my life. Someone in our neighborhood, this German lady who's hosting a girl from JCS at her home, um, invited us over to have a lunch and to meet them because they live in our neighborhood. So sweet, and she cooked all this vegan food and it was so good, and there was a vegan cheese in the salad. I was like, um, where did you get this? This is so good. It's this, it's called Vio Life Greek White. I haven't tried any of the other cheeses from this brand, but this one, y'all, it is so good. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and then YouTube stuff. We gotta get a lot done today, but I'm ready to just like sit down and get it all like out of the way. I don't know. Our time out where the 
stars forget to shine. I'm in such a rush right now. I just finished my first rehearsal of the day. It was really great. It was only three of us in there. And you know, as like a younger dancer, it's not often that you're in a rehearsal with just like two other people. So it was really cool. So now I came home. I'm literally gonna be here for five minutes, maybe like snack on something. And then I have my tax appointment. No, I gotta say, I love living abroad. Like I would not change it for the world. Like not only the life I get to live, but also the experiences I've had and the lessons I've learned, just like getting out of my comfort zone and living in a foreign country. But you know, I feel like living abroad is completely fantasized and as it should. Like I, I don't think it should be any other way, but no one tells you like these little things that become way harder. Like anything to do with government, all that stuff is so much more complicated when you're in a foreign country. This is my first year filing taxes and it's not fun as is, like just being an American citizen and filing your taxes in America, I'm sure. But being an American citizen who's making income in both countries, filing it, okay. I know a lot of people who watch my channel either like want to live abroad or they are living abroad. Just keep in mind to be like mentally prepared for a lot of this stuff to be way more complicated. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the tax appointment and then after I have another rehearsal at 5.30, and I think it goes till 6.30. Okay guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not finish filming that day. And, you know, I was thinking afterwards, like, okay, I'll probably just pretend film, like, what I did another day. And it's not an outright lie, you know, this is a YouTube channel where I have to create an image, of course, one that's true and authentic to myself. But then I was thinking, you know what, that doesn't do good for anyone. And also that's like pretty accurate to like being a ballet dancer is like coming home and being tired and not wanting to do my second job. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want to do one. <laughs> what I ended up doing, I honestly just had dinner. I laid on my spiky mat. I think I've showed you guys that on the YouTube channel before. I just kind of rested and restored my body. It's okay. And then maybe it worked out for the better because I have something fun to do at the end of this video. So, many of you guys know that I am an apprentice here at the Stuttgart Ballet, and for those of you who aren't in the ballet world, an apprenticeship is kind of a year in between school and company. So you're with the company and you get a salary, but you're not really fully in the company yet because this apprentice contract means like you're here for one year and then not everyone's gonna be able to stay the next year. And I think a lot of you guys already assume that I'm staying here at Stuttgart Ballet, um, but that was not like a guaranteed thing whatsoever. I was very nervous whether or not I was getting the job, especially considering how hard it is to audition right now during Corona. But I am very excited to tell you guys that I got a core contract here at Stuttgart Ballet and I will be staying for another season. And you know, the, the biggest difference between apprentice and core is once you're in core, like you do only get one year contracts at a time. It's a lot more secure and safe than an apprentice contract. Of course they could still fire you, but it, it is more secure than an apprenticeship contract. I don't know, this was really surreal for me because there's a whole vetting process to get to this point. I'm gonna explain it to you. So first you gotta get out of a ballet class at your local studio, you gotta train. Then you gotta do some auditions or a big competition like YGP like I did. Then you get into YGP, and then from YGP, you have to get to the final round. Then once you get to the final round, then a school has to select you to go to the professional school. Then you gotta go to the professional school, train at the professional school. If you're like me, then you wanna change schools. So you have to audition for a new school, and then you go to the new school, and then from in that new school, that company has to pick out from that small pool that they already chose after this huge vetting process who they're gonna choose to then be in the company. And then once they choose who's gonna get the apprenticeship contract, there's only a few of them, and then more get cut, and then they choose the final few. So like the fact that I've gotten to here at Stuttgart Ballet is like mind blowing to me. And the reason why I'm allowed to tell you guys this now is because I have my contract. They told me in January, but I couldn't really say because you know, I, it wasn't in paper yet, but now I'm signing it. So it's official. Okay, here we go. Signing the contract for my company next year. Woo! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn on that bell notification. It all really helps me and it means a lot. And I think that's about it. I love you guys. I'll see you next week and ciao.